All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. I'm Brother Kasha Kuala. Brother Kaya. Coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. All right, we're coming with you with a lesson uh, just based off of faith, man. You got to have faith in these days that are coming up, all right? You got to believe that the Lord is going to protect you. Uh, that he's your shield and buckler, okay? Matter of fact, you, uh, we can mm -hmm. get that preview. You know what I'm talking Psalms about. Psalms 18. That's it. I got you. All right, bro. I'm going to pull up on the screen. But you got to believe that the Lord is going to be there for you. I'll say this one thing. If you don't believe, like, if you don't believe the Lord is going to protect you, he ain't going to protect you. Straight, plain as that. You know what I'm saying? He needs, He's looking for people who believe in his name, okay? You got it, bro. Con. This is uh, Psalms 18. I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, The Lord Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength in whom I would trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Okay? And that's straight to the point. Okay? He's going to be your fortress, your deliverer. And ultimately, Yahweh is our deliverer. All right? He's going to help us escape all this hell and fire at the same time in these last days. Okay? Things are, things are going to get worse. We're seeing more judgment. We're seeing all these things pop off. So, therefore, we must uh, have faith and build your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and with the body. Because who's going to be here by your side in that day ultimately? It ain't going to be you no know, nigga holding their hand out for you. Okay? It ain't going to be none of that. I eat a mite. Because ultimately, the Lord is going to save you if you believe in Him and doing the things of His doing. Okay? This is verse 3. I will call upon the Lord, Yahweh Shah, all right, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies, okay? Plural, whether it be Esau, two thirds, hell, even America itself is a is a big enemy, all right. That's why the, the scriptures constantly say, "Hey, depart away from this world, depart away from this world," all right. Your real can be your enemy. Your friend can be your enemy, all right. This place is compact with with evil, darkness. <laughs> traps, snares to, to, to draw you away from the truth or to take you out, man. Okay? That's why faith is so important, man. You got it out. That's it. Hey, it's uh, Nahum chapter 1 and 7. It says, The Lord is good. All right? Yahweh is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. Right. He knows the ones who trust, who trust in his name. Who believes that uh, he will protect them mm -hmm. through thick and thin, even if you having that conversation with death. Okay, <laughs> you got death. You're, you know, just talking it out. God. All right, but you still gonna believe that Yahweh about Shimei is gonna be right by your side. Okay, he knows the ones. Okay, he knows the ones who are gonna put their uh, uh, first foot down to stop whatever they're doing to do whatever he asks and requires them to do. Mm -hmm. Be accountable. Be answerable. OK, do what um, he he intended you to do. Let me get to Tobit four real quick. All right. Because in, in, in with faith, you'll sacrifice more. Simple. With, if you increase your faith, you'll sacrifice more. You'll show face more. You'll pull up more. You'll do more videos. OK, you'll be, uh, 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 you know, pretty much ready for ready for whatever. You're a minister, uh, mm -hmm. okay? Minister is a servant, okay? What kind of servant do you want that doesn't that doesn't serve? That's not always available. Oh, I'm I'm busy right now. That's bullshit. You ain't, that ain't no servant. If you increase your faith, you will increase your sacrifices, okay? Because you believe in Yahweh Bashim mm Yahweh Shai. -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna get Tobit chapter four real quick. Uh, I'm gonna start at seven. About, I'm going to speak about giving alms because giving alms is a form of sacrifice too, okay? You may not have it at the moment, but you're, you're more than willing to give it any way possible, okay? In some form, shape, way, fashion, okay? Mm -hmm. You're more ready, uh, ready to sacrifice when you build your faith. Verse 7, it says, give alms according to thy substance and when thou givest alms, let not thine eye be envious, neither... Turn thy face from any uh, any poor in the face 
of the Most High shall be uh, shall not be turned uh, away from thee. Right? Okay. It says neither turn thy face from any poor. This don't mean go out to the uh, the streets of whatever per perspective city mm -hmm. you're in and go give to the homeless God. like it's a soup kitchen or some shit. Mm -hmm. No. The scriptures also say I'm about to get it real quick. So lock it, brother. God, you got it. Uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, I want to say it's like the uh, 10th or 11th chapter or 12th chapter. Let me see. Yep. It says, do good unto the godly man and thou shalt find recompense if not from him yet from the most high. The reason why I bring that out, because it says, neither turn thy face from uh, from any poor. Because what does the scripture say about it? It's Ecclesiastes uh, uh, 10 and 6, I want to say. Uh, uh, folly is set at great, great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. We're poor, okay? So you ain't to turn your face towards uh, the poor, man, okay? Meaning the ones who are rich in spirit, knowledge, and understanding That's of right. wisdom, okay? But we may be physically poor, okay? Well, I ain't telling them go on. Because half of them, if not 80% of them homeless people out there, proud as hell for what? <laughs> Like, what the fuck, man? Mm -hmm. Give him some water. You got it. You got something else. Like what? You need... Verse eight mm -hmm. says, "If thou hast substance, abundance, so like you give alms accordingly. If if thou have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little." Right. I may you may be a uh, rocking E on your gas tank, and the <laughs> brother say, "Pull up, uh -huh. man. Fuck it, man. I know my car. I can make it. <laughs> Pull up, then." Well. Like I mentioned earlier, look at Job. Right. He he was a wealthy man, all right? And he was making daily sacrifices, not only for himself, but for all his sons. Right. Because they cursed the most high, all right? And they they basically wasn't doing what they had to do for y'all by Shimmy Al Shah. He said, fuck it, I'm gonna send up sacrifices for all y'all and go about my business. Even though, you know, when Satan intervened, okay, what? Um the, the Sabians came, the Chaldeans came. Uh, a wind out the blue came mm -hmm. and killed all the sons and daughters that was in the eldest brother house, okay? So all these things have came upon him, and what did he do at the end of the day? <laughs> he went to his mantle, mm -hmm. bowed down, and worshiped. And, and the key thing he said was, hey, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh, because he had what? Faith. That's it. Yep. He had faith and still gave his sacrifice, man. And I'll say this too, he shaved his head too. Kind, yep. Okay, yep. well, sheared it. Was, yeah. All right, cut it low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all, we, us brothers know about, <laughs> about that now. Yeah, all right. Because <laughs> also, what? Um, we're still in captivity, we're still slaves. Uh, uh, shearing your head, okay, or pretty much cutting your hair off, not as a, a, a butter bean, ball headed ass nigga, <laughs> but like just cutting your hair off. Shows a sign of your, you know, mourning or whatnot. Man, we in captivity. Ain't nobody want to be here. God. Okay. So verse nine says, "For lay, for thou layest up good <coughs> treasure for thyself against the day of necessity, and the day of necessity is coming." Man, sacrifice as much as possible while we still have the grace and liberty at hand. Sacrifice. God. God so what the scriptures say? Roughly paraphrasing. Faith with works. That's it. All right. Oh, you did all this work for me. Okay, bet. I, will, I am going to be your fortress and your defense. That's it. I am going to give you spiritual power to fuck those Edomites up. All right? Or those two-thirds. Whoever, whoever's afflicting you, man, the Lord is going to have your back, man, at the end of the day. Okay? And um, you, you can go ahead. Now. That's right. It says, because that arms, matter of fact, let me see uh, what the word arms is. All right. It says, arms, charitable relief of the poor, it says that which is given to relieve the poor or needy, okay, almsgiving, act of relieving the needy, see that, helping a brother out, pulling up on a brother, may, he may be in the dumps, quote unquote, all right, and you may have lifted that brother's spirit up, being compassionate, okay, uh, it says uh, uh, pity and mercy, okay, uh, let's see what else it says. That's about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It says so uh, re relieving the needy. That, that's that, that's the act of, yeah, yeah. It just caught my eye. The act of relieving the needy, man. That, that's what your house shot doing, doing with us. That's it. Who's in the congregation of the dead? Who's in that darkness? Poor as hell. 
Still, still probably poor, you know. But at the end all, be all, man, the Lord is our comforter, man. He's like, yo, I got you. Hey, ain't we partakers of Yahweh by Shimei Awasha? So we call ourselves a follower, what a follower should do. Hey, you know, if the Lord was with the 12, doing all these things, showing love, all right, lifting their spirits up, why not us? Right. All right? And his spirit within us, then he opened our eyes, okay, which is actually a blessing. Right. Okay? Hey, so be it, man. Let's, let's get it. <laughs> right. And did not, did not Yahweh Shai show compassion towards us as well? Mm hmm And did not his arms that he gave come in the form of a sacrifice as well? You see? It says, because the arms doth deliver from death. Did not Yahweh Shai give mm -hmm. a, a, a hefty arm to Israel? God. And was he not delivered from death? Because actually he defeated it and had victory over it. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, and suffer if not to, be, to come into darkness. Right. The scriptures say, give me any plague but the plague of the mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. That darkness can come onto your, onto your mental, bro. Mm -hmm. You just seep into that pineal gland, damn it. Yep. All right. And that's what that's the main thing that Esau is real good at um, right. today, in, in quote unquote 2020. He loves playing on the mind of the people. Okay, that's why um, the scriptures constantly say, uh, "Gird up thy loins." All right, and also it says, "Make thy mind ready." All right, be prepared. Make right. your mind ready. Make your mind ready. All right, love from your um your heart. Okay, be sincere. That yeah. all plays on the mind, man. Let the Lord know you love Him. That's it. Okay, you got it. All right, um, I'm gonna read that last uh, last verse. It says, "For alms is a gift." So alms is a gift. A good gift unto all them that give it in the sight of the Most High. Right? So sacrifice. Give your alms. Become answerable. Become accountable. Become available. Do what you're supposed to do. Do the work. Do your videos. Do a video a day. Do two videos a day. Do three videos a day. Okay? Do what you got to do right now to build your faith and increase your faith and get them spiritual coins in your bank account. So when the time hits, you can go ahead and spend them when you're in, you're in some uh, dire situations. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cash out real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's get Hebrews 11, brother. Con, I, I already got a precept from that, too. Con, this is uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. It says, but without faith, okay, it is impossible to please him. Right. That's clear as day, man. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Meaning what? You got to show your faith. To make it possible so that you can please the Heavenly Father. So he can deliver you. You can be escaped from those darts, all right? You can escape from that, that great flood that's about to come. When Esau come down with that great wrath. That you can not escape the day of temptation. These are all heavy times I'm talking about, right. okay? And we need to please the Lord to the best of our ability so that we can up, obtain that salvation and that protection, man. Mm -hmm. Because we cannot do it by ourselves, all right? These women's gonna the woman gonna cling on to the hopeful elect, or, or a man out there somewhere, okay? But ultimately, the hopeful elect, all right? It's gonna be mighty man crying there bitterly. So here it is, and we around these individuals daily and see them daily. Well, what's us? Right. You know what I'm saying? We need Yahweh Bashim Al to come protect us, cause ultimately we ain't, you know? Yeah. We worms, this, this, like yeah, the scripture saying, uh, was that Isaiah 41 and 14. We worms. We can't I shoot got, no block at no at no damn tank. It ain't gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> we got I got the word impossible. Um I do natas, if I'm saying that correctly. See what this white dude say. Strong's G one oh two. I do natas. Yes yeah, it. I do natas. Alright, it says without strength. Alright, so you if you're lacking faith, you're without strength. Okay? If you're lacking faith, you are powerless. If you're lacking faith, you are weak. Okay? If you're lacking faith, you are disabled. And I'm going to say you're disabled from being a servant. All right? Your, your, your uh, services are not needed anymore. In the words of Trump, you're fired. Okay? Mm. Simple. If you lack in faith. Unable to be done. Mm. If you are lacking faith... You are unable to do what the Lord requires you to do. Therefore, you are useless. Con. All right? Simple and plain as that. You can go ahead and go back to it, brother. Come and reread it. This is um, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High 
must believe that he is. Right. And that's what is in his name. He mm-hmm. is. You got to know that he's, he exists. You got to believe that he's always around. And in everything you do, he's there. Mm-hmm. Like the scriptures talk about. I want to say that's in the, the first book, of uh, the first chapter of Colossians, where it says that mm-hmm. pretty much he is in all things. You have to believe that. Okay. All right. It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is. Mm-hmm. Doesn't the scriptures talk about you have to come to the uh, uh, pretty much uh, to the throne of the most high with boldness? OK, meaning I believe. Mm-hmm. OK, I believe that you are present. OK, go ahead. Come and continue. Does it believe that he is? And then it says. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right. A rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. The word diligent (coughs) in the the Hebrew is karatazah. Mm -hmm. All right. You got to be diligent with seeking. Go back to the book of Baruch. Okay. You should be seeking him 10 times more. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's going to reward you for the. That's a good deed. If you're always. uh, uh, That's that's the spirit. Because back in, uh, I want to say Genesis third chapter, it says the, the woman, her desire shall always be toward the husband. Mm-hmm. Well, God damn it. Who, who's the woman in this case? Jeremiah 6 and 2. Mm-hmm. Us. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, the, all up in the book of all, all four gospels. It, start, it talks about the husband, uh, the husband to come back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or who's the wife who's, who, who's waiting for the husband, the bridegroom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Getting ourselves prepared, diligently seeking. Okay? Because what? Like I was mentioning in Genesis, the third chapter, our desire is towards you. How about Shimei Awashai? The word desire goes back into the word love. Okay? You got it, brother. Come on. I actually got that Baruch. Um, this is Baruch 4 and verse 28. I'm going to wait till you get there. No, you got it, brother. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, because, yeah, we get it. This, this place will actually have your mind somewhere else constantly, all right? This is our captivity, especially in this city what, full of these women, okay? Quote-unquote entertainment, which is little Satan, all right? Et cetera. Anything of this place is going to cause you to err, basically. Cause you to go straight back into darkness, all right? It says, um, it says, to go straight from the Most High, so being returned, seek, seek him ten times more. So even while we in this uh, in this faith of Yahweh Shemiyahu and we see the prophecies coming, man, we should be ten times more, ten times more. All right, reading, building a relationship, um, more in the body. It's <coughs> like it in the body and towards Yahweh Shemiyahu Shah. Okay, simple as that. You got it out. Come on, man. That's that's it right there. You see. You gotta believe that the Lord is gonna protect you. You got you just gotta believe, man. If if you're having some issues with, you know, believing, man, read the book of John. Okay? Read the book of John. Matter of fact, uh, bear with me one moment. You can say something, brother. I'm about to get a, a quick fact. God, we we yeah, we in the um in heavier times, man. All right. Different, you know, hurricanes coming out the blue bat to bat. All right. You got different signs in the heavens. Hell, even with our enemy, Esau. Man, this man is out here moving, okay? He's out here trying to plan certain things that he's going to do to you people in the future. And try to he's going to try to touch us. Right, because mm-hmm. Esau believed that his agenda is going to get done. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you believe that the Lord's agenda is going to get done? Exactly. See? Um, but I'm going to get a quick, um, like I said, you can go read the uh, book of John. I'm going to get a quick fact, okay? Um I'm going to read something. It says the purpose of right of the writing, meaning the purpose of the, the, the writing of the book of John It says, this is clearly stated in John 20 and 30 and 31. And there are three key words. The word signs is used 17 times in, in John mm. and is often translated miracle throughout all the uh, other gospels. So you got four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So out the other three gospels. Okay. It appears only 28 times, but in the book of John, it appeared by itself, the word signs or miracles, 17 17 times. And you have the three other gospels combined 28 times. Okay. That's the first thing I want to mention why the book of John is so heavy. Okay. It says, um, 
and I'm not saying it's heavier than any mm-hmm. other book, but mm-hmm. when you John was was a uh, was a disciple of Yahweh Shah, he was right there with him, writing all the things mm-hmm. down. Okay, it says um, throughout all the other gospels, it appears only 28 times. These are teaching signs. Okay, the word this is number two. Okay, the word believe appears 98 times in the book of John. Mm. The word believe appears 98 times in the book of John. If you have having struggles with believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, read the book of John and the miraculous works of Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, um, and li- listen to this. The word believe appears 98 times in the book of John and only 29 times in all the other gospels combined. You see that? You see that? The Lord is all about you believing in him, having faith in him. Okay? Mm. And it says, um, uh, let's see. It says, belief often results from signs. Okay? You got to believe that we're going to start doing miracles. Mm-hmm. That the Lord is going to start giving us power. God dang it, you already got power. God. You already have power right now. Doing these lessons every single day is power. That's diligence. That's cooperation. Okay, that's you being ten toes down. That's you believing in the Lord. Okay, having brothers with like mind around you. That's power. Okay, you understanding the scripts. That's power. You teaching the scripts. That is power. Just because we ain't flying and teleporting don't mean we ain't got no power. Mm -hmm. We got hella power right now. It's just used in a different manner right now. That's it. Sure. When he um opened our eyes to, to understand the scriptures, man. Hey, that's power. That's power. All right? And I can attest, I'm pretty sure this brother can, all the rest of the bros. Hey, we didn't know nothing when we was out there, man. That's it. We didn't know nothing. We wouldn't even be here right now, okay? But since he opened our eyes, man, that's power, man. You see things are completely different, man. That's it. Okay? Because it's, 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 it's also a gift, a blessing, and it's of Yahweh Shem Yahweh and he gave it to us, man. Right. All right? Meaning what? This is true power. We know that um, ultimately the Lord is controlling Esau, all right, through, through Satan. And the Lord is working with the right-hand side. Started with Yahweh Shai all the way on down. You know, the house of David. It's both sides of the script. Um, this, both sides, basically what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. Okay? And it's what? Power, man. That's it. Right. Because he's the ultimate power. He's the ultimate <laughs> power. Yeah. Hey, but, but, but listen, this is, this is going to be heavy. Okay? It says the word life is used 34 times in the book of John and only 13 times elsewhere in the Gospels. The term is closely related to faith. Mm. That's what it boils down to. That's simple. Okay. Faith. Your faith is what's going to get you through. All right. Go watch the book of Eli. He was faced with death. What got him through it? Faith. He was on the road all day, every day. What got him through it? Faith. He was running out of water. What got him through it? Faith. He was. He encountered some individuals. Okay, uh, that he had to fight off. What What got him through it? Faith. The man was blind the entire time. Mm. What got him through it? Faith. That's simple. Oh. All right. Increase your faith right now while you have the time. If a brother asks to pull up, pull the fuck up. If a brother or a camp head or, or anything asks to pick up a brother, pick up a brother. If he asks, hey, y'all, we doing a live stream tonight, pull up. Do a video tonight, do it. Read tonight, do it. Pray tonight, do it. Fast, do it. Build your faith. Anything you do in the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to increase your faith, man. And like we read in Nahum 1 and 7, he knows the ones who trust in him. Okay? Just because ain't nobody watching don't mean he ain't. Do what you got to do to build the faith. And like the brother been harping over and over and over in this lesson, build your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I know the brothers down in Dallas harp on that a lot too. Building a relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Increase your fear and increase your faith levels, man. Mm-hmm. You have anything else to say, brother? Hey, man. Per- perfectly said, man. You got it. Kind, man. So, Lord willing, y'all brothers is edify, and uh, this is <coughs> pretty much turned into an exhortation, man. All right, 
And her, hopefully this was encouraging. All right? Sometimes you got to put fire on the Jake's ass. Get mm-hmm. him going, man. Uh-huh. All right? Add some oil to your lamp. Mm-hmm. All right? And keep it moving. All right? Build your faith. So you be good in the day of necessity, like the book of Tobit said in the fourth mm-hmm. chapter. All right. So with that, we give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Hakadosh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the ruling of Teachwell. Peace, love, salutation to the elect one forty-four first fruit, brother Kasha Kuala. Those are Kai. Until the next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.